We're back. This is Josh Jelinski, the financial quarterback. And if you want the new book, folks, go over to Amazon. You're going to see, Ed, a big peek after this book, the new retirement savings time bomb. Our show is your – well, wait, keep it up there, Ed, because I'm, I'm uh, cutting to you on the YouTube. We will also tell you, Ed, when we'll make this show live on the YouTube channel. Folks, we're uh, launching our new YouTube channel, Josh Chalinski, the financial quarterback, the new retirement savings time bomb. It's in my top 10 financial books of all time. It, it, it soon will be in the top maybe three uh, because there's no other book quite like it updated for today. So, folks, if you have IRA questions, give us a call now, 800-321-0710. So, Ed, what do you think about people who get the, you know, financial planning 101 is very simple, right? You save, if somebody said, I am a newbie and I want to know what should I do with my money, I don't know anything about money, I would tell them three or four things. Number one, save 15%, just save 15% of what you have. Number two, read your new book because tax planning. We know two things are certain, death and taxes, and your book covers that. Number three, read my book, The Retirement Reality Check, because I go over into some of the holistic planning concepts. And number four, take advantage of every tax-free thing you can. Max out your Roth. If you own a business, create a Roth 401k. A lot of people don't realize that. There are income limitations on a Roth IRA. There is no income limitations on a Roth 401k. And that is a great loophole for the rich that hopefully they won't close that uh, as well. And then take advantage of life insurance, which you talk about in the book. I want to talk now in this next segment on life insurance because it's one of the most maligned things. But the more people learn about the tax code, the more they like it. And the more it's more of like something that I didn't like it at first because I used to subscribe to the old buy term and invest the difference nonsense. Then I realized it was nonsense. Uh, but explain to the average listener, maybe against insurance internally, why it's a good idea. Well, uh, first of all, I don't sell life insurance. I'm a tax advisor. But as a tax advisor, I have to tell you, uh, one of the single biggest benefits in the entire tax code is the tax exemption for life insurance. And anytime I see a big gaping tax e exemption, I want to take advantage of that. And most people don't. And you know what's really strange? Most people who sell insurance sell it for all the wrong reasons. They don't realize the big tax benefits. Everybody knows about the death benefit. That's great. And it's tax free. But there are also lifetime benefits. I'm talking about permanent cash value. You could start taking down your heavily taxed or heavily to be taxed IRA at today's low rates and put it, we talked about in a Roth, or supercharge it and put it in a cash value life insurance policy. What do you get for your money? First of all, yes, there will be a death benefit. It will be tax-free. You don't have to worry about the loss of the stretch IRA. In fact, it could leave the life insurance to a trust that can work way better than any trust that inherits an IRA because it's not subject to any of the rules, the, the no stretch rules, the 10-year rules, the RMDs or the complicated tax rules. Uh, it's just pure tax-free money that you can control. So one of the things I say in the book, the new retirement savings time bomb, actually I named the life insurance chapter, the power of life insurance. Most people don't know you can get the three things that every client I ever worked with that has built up substantial savings in their retirement accounts has wanted. Larger inheritances, more control, less tax. That's what they always want. And that's the subtitle of that chapter. Larger inheritances, more control, less tax. You can leverage your IRA now by getting it out and putting it into a cash value permanent life insurance where you have access to it during your life if you need it, again, as a hedge against future higher taxes, because whatever you take out of there will be tax-free if you need it. If, it. if you don't, it pays a windfall to your beneficiaries also tax-free, but the money growing, say, in the cash value takes a few years. You've got to stick with the plan, and that's a long-term commitment. But 
uh, look at the money grow. I've done this myself. In fact, I changed over my personal life insurance last year with new, uh, not last year, about five years ago with new uh, uh, provisions for long-term care benefits. I have one of these so-called hybrid policies. Some people call them long-term care riders, where if I need money for long-term care during my life, nursing homes, those big ticket items, I can pull from the cash value of my life insurance. Why did I do that? Well, if I need that kind of care, the last thing I want to do is rely on my kids to come up with the thousands of dollars needed every month for my care. I, if I leave it to them, who the heck knows where I'll end up? Probably chained up in their basement. I want to know this is taken care of. So I took care of it. So the life insurance policy can do double duty. It has lifetime benefit plus post-death benefits. And thanks to what Congress did, where they downgraded IRAs as a wealth transfer estate planning vehicle, inadvertently, they upgraded the kind of life insurance I'm talking about. That was probably the better planning we should have been doing all along. But now, to me, it moves to the top of the list. And that's why I devoted a whole chapter, not selling insurance as a tax planning, wealth transfer, and wealth creation vehicle to do it tax-free. Larger inheritances, more control, less tax. That's what I call the power of life insurance from a tax advisor. The preceding program was sponsored by the Jelensky Advisory Group. Any awards, rankings, or recognition by unaffiliated third parties or publications, including Five Star Wealth Manager, Advisory of the Year finalist by Senior Market Advisor, and Top of the Million Dollar Roundtable, are in no way indicative of the advisor's future performance or any individual client's investment success. No award, ranking, or recognition should be construed as a current or past endorsement of Josh Jelinski or Wealth Quarterback LLC. Information regarding specific awards, rankings, or recognitions is available on the Wealth Quarterback website at www.jelinski.com. Org. All investment strategies have the potential for profit or loss. Investment strategies such as asset allocation, diversification, or rebalancing do not assure or guarantee better performance and cannot eliminate the risk of investment losses. There are no guarantees that a portfolio employing these or any other strategy will outperform a portfolio that does not engage in such strategies. This broadcast should not be construed by any client or prospective client as a solicitation to affect or attempt to affect transactions and securities or the rendering of personalized investment advice. Advice. Due to various factors, including changing market conditions, the information discussed in this broadcast may no longer be reflective of current positions or recommendations. While information presented is believed to be factual and up-to-date, Josh Jelinski and Wealth Quarterback do not guarantee its accuracy, and it should not be regarded as a complete analysis of the subjects discussed. The tax and estate planning information discussed is general in nature, is provided for informational purposes only, and should not be construed as legal or tax advice. Listeners should consult an attorney or tax professional regarding their specific legal or tax situation. Advisory services offered through Wealth Quarterback, LLC.